Okay, what we're showing here on the Tegra K1 reference tablet, 7-inch reference tablet, is a UE4 demo of a living room. And this is using uh, a lot of deferred shading technology, and I can just do a quick flash here to all the different types of background surfaces we're rendering to, to do a bunch of different um, types of effects, and then you combine all those together to yield this near photorealistic living room render. Now, it's rendering on the fly. and it's rendering on the fly. We're going to zoom in. Let's take a look at the floor, for example, with the reflections and a lot of different lighting here. Okay, the adaptive lighting. Um, it's it's very uh, rich texture detail for a mobile processor. You can actually see the imperfections in the wood floor. We're going to come out and go over here and take a look at the couch, which is extremely highly defined and we're going to zoom in here and it's going to look like that you want to sit in it. It just looks really comfy. You see the leather and the light reflecting off of it. I mean you just don't see this today in any mobile processor. The, the wall is well defined, the stucco and backing out we have HDR lighting. Um, go up a little bit, look out this way. Okay, the reflections on the uh, cup and, and the vase and other things here on the table. Go back, back, back. There we go. Okay, so this is really, really uh, high quality, high performance graphics for mobile enabled by uh, our K1 processor, Tegra K1 with Kepler graphics. Okay, that's that. And now, I'm going to go and boom. Get rid of that. We're going to go kick off another demo now. This is our uh, FaceWorks demo showing Digital Ira, who is a real person who has been digitized, and he lets us use his face, which is great. And you can see the high quality features in the render. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. You look in the eyes. They're heavily tessellated, meaning there's a lot of triangle complexity. Take a look, and it's so complex, it's just a dense mesh to make it look, make the eyes look extremely real. You'll see the skin shaders. Um, sorry, wrong. There we go. We'll see the skin shaders. Uh, there's a little oil to it. We're going to go over and look at the soft shadows coming off of his nose. Back up a bit. You can see his ear has this uh, what we call subsurface scattering where the light hits the ear, bounces around inside the skin as it would with a human face and human skin. And just change the lighting model a little bit. Change the lighting model again. Okay, but let's go back to the one with the shadows and let's compare to what current generation processors, mobile processors can do. Kind of like that. Does not look too realistic. And we can do it with a little wipe here. So we can kind of go back and forth, zoom in, zoom in, and go to the front and look this way. And then we'll basically be able to take back and forth. That's with Tegra K1 that is without. Huge, huge difference. Okay? So now we're going to go back there. So this is Digital Ira, realistic rendering of human, something that we know and understand what it should, what a person should look like. So this is the kind of graphics you're going to see in your games in mobile, enabled by uh, K1.